Hello everybody, Sanyur, Engineer, MBA and Investor and today's video I want to talk about NTLA releasing further data for NTLA 2001 program and I want to talk about all of that in this video and also about stock price today action and of course the latest decision with the patents situation. Now, before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill. You guys know exactly what I'll ask you. Like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button. That's how YouTube algorithms work. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And if you have any question, comment, feedback, leave me in the comments below. I try to read and respond to every single comment. So yesterday we had quite a revolutionary day, quite a busy day, in fact, NTLA published their latest data for NTLA 2001. Beam Therapeutics published their earnings report. And also, also we had the patent situation decision that came down. The courts laid down their hammer. We will take a look at that in this video. But I didn't want to cover really quickly uh, the data that came in. Again, we covered last summer when the first time in vivo 2001 NTLA program came in and data was just revolutionary. And yesterday we got amazing data, right? Before we jump in the data itself, I do wanna remind the viewers that uh, the disease that NTLA 2001 is tackling is ATTR and there are over 500 patients worldwide, right? And this is definitely progressive and it is fatal within three to 10 years. So this is a serious disease. It is affecting many, many people around the world, causing heart failures and all sorts of problems, right? And what NTLA 2001 does is basically it needs to reduce the TTR, uh, the TTR in the body, right, in the liver. So within your body, you need to have less TTR, and that is by tackling the gene. And reduction of TTR means you will be eradicating potentially the ATTR disease which the patient has. And we took a look at the data, guys. We took a, all 15 patients that were dosed, right? You wanna take a look at the largest dose, right? The largest dose, right? The largest dose had a mean, a mean value of 93%, guys. This is amazing, right? For patient size of six patients for the largest dose, which is 1.0 milligram per kilogram, that is, we're looking 93%. Just the dose a little bit shorter than that, 0.7, we're looking at 88%. And then the dose smaller than that, 0.3, is at 81%. So we won't even look at the first dose here, 0.1, because I don't even think it's significant at this point. Clearly here, you can see the last two doses being uh, the most significant one, along with the third biggest. But you know, we, if you take a look at that, that means you have 12 patients with over 80%. 80% of mean TTR reduction, right? This is significant, right? This is significant, this is amazing data. If you take a look at this graph here, and I, I, I love looking at this this point here, 93% mean reduction at 1.0 mil, milligram critical kilogram by day 28. Six out of six patients at this largest dose that achieved over 80% reduction in TTR, right? So all six patients that were dosed with this dosage I've gone to have amazing results. And now they're going with part two of this study with now a fixed dose declared, right? So generally well tolerated, um, no mild, really serious mild, uh, serious adverse events, none of them. And I think that's just amazing, right? So again, just as a reminder, this is the first human data we got for in vivo with human trial when it comes to CRISPR, right? CRISPR in vivo, and TLA 2001 program is the first human data. And clearly here we got amazing data. We had previous data from the same program back in late, late summer last year, actually around June of 2021. But, 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 but today, uh, actually yesterday evening, we got the further data, updated data, and now on all patients here, 15 total patient dose. And we're more focused on these six out of six patients that were those with achieving over 80% reduction in TTR. Again, you reduce TTR, you eradicate potentially the ATTR disease. And to me, if I'm the FTM looking at this type of data, I just can't help to 
you know, say, look, this is literally curing the disease. You know, you're, there is no alternative for these patients, right? There's no drug available. There's no treatment. There's no therapy, nothing available, right? This is just amazing. And just what we saw over 500 patients, 500,000 patients around the world, fatal, right? This is lethal, right? This is not just a disease just that makes you feel tired or so on. This is literally fatal, right? So amazing job from NTLA. I've always said this, NTLA gets the job done. And they got the job done. Yesterday's data proved it. And they're getting the job done going with part two of this study with a fixed dosage now that they have all four cohorts developed here. Amazing job by NTLA. So now moving on to the stock price. <laughs> Today down 20%. This is crazy. Okay, this is just crazy. They closed yesterday's, like I said, yesterday's session and they released that data. And now today they're down 20%. So what happened, right? Despite all that amazing data, what happened? Well, you know, this happened, right? The patent dec decision came down. And I'll probably make a separate video here investigating further. And I would highly advise you guys to read, uh, read Isaac's uh, Walterson book. Uh, it is an amazing book. And in fact, the book on Jennifer Dana and CRISPR. And actually, they go through several chapters talking about the patent situation. And this decision here that we're looking at is basically a follow-up where the courts have decided and have sided with Dr. Fang Zhang, which we've covered his interview recently, if you guys remember in yesterday's video. And they are siding with them in, and with Broad Institute and saying, look, you hold that novel invention on human trial, on human when it comes to CRISPR, on human cell when it comes to CRISPR. And now we have a situation where, um, where CRISPR therapeutics um, and NTLA now are no longer, uh, no longer holding that, uh, that patent for, because now you have, now you have uh, the Broad Institute winning this case now in the US. Now in the Europe, it's different. Internationally, it's different, but in US specifically, Broad Institute has now been cited by the courts once more. So what will happen from here on? Well, a couple of things. First of all, this is not the final blow. This is just one major blow, but it is not the final blow because this is gonna be another appeal from, uh, from Jennifer Dana and their teams, right? Because the goal here is to prove that, you know, Broad Institute did, were not the first one to, to, to have the CRISPR discovery when it comes to human cell. And Jennifer Dana, Emmanuel Charpentier, and the whole team there needs to prove that. And the companies involved in, do, in those sites, in the latter sites, are, like I said, uh, CRISPR Therapeutics, NTLA, Caribou Biosciences. Um, but on Bradley Institute side, there's Beam Therapeutics and there's Editas, right? And Editas set out their press release saying Editas has been cited from the courts here. So it's a big win for Editas and Beam Therapeutics. Huge loss for NTLA, CRISPR therapeutics, and Caribou, and so on. Uh, but my only comments here is again, it's going to be another appeal done here. I don't really think this is going to stop anytime soon. I think it's going to be another appeal. This is going to go another for two, three, four years. I mean, by then you'll have the FDA approved uh, CRISPR therapeutics from CTA001, potentially NTLA too, with all this data we're coming, we're getting from NTLA2001. Who knows, you know? Uh, so you know, I think it's an overreaction from the stock price here. I think it's quite sad that, you know, a company that's able to publish such an amazing data, right? This is amazing data, right? This is, it's crazy good data, right? You have durability, you have a complete response. It's just amazing. All six patients with the largest dose and they're moving to part two of the phase, the clinical trial. And despite of all of that, the company is down 20%, right? This just shows you sometimes that disconnect the markets have with fundamentals of a company, right? And I totally agree that, you know, patents do matter. Of, of course they matter, especially in biotech. Uh, but knowing that there'll be other appeals, knowing this will go on for another few years, and, you know, knowing that commercial opportunity may come bef well before then, I think it's well premature. 20% is a lot, guys. Like, that's crazy, 20% down despite all that amazing data. I don't know, it's crazy. Let me know in comments below what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video if you found value from it. Subscribe if you're not. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the data. Let me know what you guys think about the patent situation, the stock price. I just think it's amazing, amazing times we live in. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Thank you.